right, so when you click on the first link in the description, you should land on this page that you see here, which is the page of ConvertKit where you can go ahead and sign up for a free account. And first of all, we need to answer a couple of questions before we can go ahead and create our account. So let's just go ahead and do that. So have you used email marketing before in our business? I'm just gonna tell them I'm a beginner. No, I'm just starting with email. Then do we have a website? Yes, we do have a website and we have created that website on WordPress. So after those questions, we can go ahead and type in our email and our password. So I'm gonna use one of my emails that I haven't used before with ConvertKit and then create a strong password that we can remember. Then we have to tick the box here and then we can click get started. So now we're logged into our ConvertKit account. So you should see your name on the top right corner here. And I'm just gonna quickly go over the main layout of ConvertKit. So on the top here, you see some different tabs of all the different features that you have available to build your email marketing. So right now we're on the landing pages and forms tab where obviously we can build our landing pages and forms. Then you have the subscribers tab where you see all your activity from your subscribers, all your new subscribers that have just signed up for your email list. And then you have the broadcast tab here, which you can use to send out one-time emails to your email list. Then you have the automations tab, which you see now is grayed out. That's because in the free plan that we have just signed up for, the automations feature is not available as I've already mentioned. Um, I'm actually gonna cover how to use automations at the end of this tutorial. And then I'm gonna show you how to sign up for a 14 day free trial for the paid plan if you want to use the automations feature. But that's at the end of the tutorial. So for now, we're just gonna um, build everything using the free tools. And then eventually at the end, if you decide you wanna try out the automations, you can do that as well. And then you also have a learn tab here, which um, kind of gives you some courses from the team of ConvertKit and some other people. Uh, and they teach you a lot of stuff even f um, throughout um, or further than ConvertKit itself. This one is how to kind of create content for your online business with content marketing. And this one is to how to create a digital product. And uh, so uh, ConvertKit is very popular among bloggers, among course creators. So they have a lot of content for those kind of people to kind of um, teach them a lot of stuff about content creation, about blogging, and about uh, how to create a paid course. So if you have some time, I think it's very worth it to go through some of those lessons in those courses. But um, for this tutorial, this is more about how to get um, started with ConvertKit, how to use this software. So we're not gonna bother with this tab here. Um, and then on the, on the top right here, as I said, you can should see your account name and then under this, you can change your profile information. You can change some account settings where in a second we will start to change some things. And then um, you can also uh, log out here. Then on the bottom right, you see this little chat box icon, which you can always use to kind of um, contact their support whenever you have any questions, which I highly encourage you to do. So don't freak out if you don't know how to do something, just contact the support and then they will help you out. Um, so that's basically the basic layout. You also have like a checklist here on the bottom left, which should help you um, uh, start getting started with uh, ConvertKit, but I'm gonna cover everything in this tutorial so we can just watch this video. So that's basically the layout. It's very easy to navigate through. And as you can see alongside watching this tutorial, it, you will get familiar with this uh, ConvertKit software. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is to go head over to the top right, click on your account name, and then go to account settings. Uh, then go to the left side and click on email. What we want to do here is we want to set up the email that you want to send emails from. So if you have signed up with a simple Gmail address, then I would highly encourage you to actually get a branded email. So if you have a domain, so for me, it's um, one of my domains is medicsmedia.com. So I wanna send from this domain. And if you have signed up with a Gmail right now, it would say something like Simon blah, blah, blah at gmail.com. So what you can do is actually add another address. So you can add an, another address uh, right here, click on add an address and then type in the name that should appear 
when people get emails from you. So I'm just gonna type in my name right here. And let's say um, I wanna send emails from one of my other branded email addresses. Let's say I wanna send one from, from this one here, simon at learnpassiveincome.com, which is another branded email address that I use. So let's say I wanna, uh, I wanna add this, click on add. And then I have two different email addresses that I can send emails from. But actually I have to um, verify those email addresses before I can start sending emails. So I have to tell ConvertKit that I actually own those branded email addresses, those domains. Um, so the way we do that is pretty simple actually. We can just head over to our email inbox of um, this one or this one, whatever you wanna use for sending emails. And then we have to confirm that by clicking on a link. So I'm just gonna head over to my inbox and then I'm gonna show you how this email looks like. Okay, so I've just logged into my email account and checked my emails and in my inbox, I got this email from ConvertKit asking me to verify my email address that I have just typed in there. So uh, I'm just gonna click on verify your email here and then I should get back to my, um, to my ConvertKit account and as you see now, this email address is confirmed. Now, if I wanna confirm this as well, I can just head over to the inbox of this email and click the button again, and then both of them will be confirmed and I can use any of them to send out emails from. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is um, we're gonna add a physical address because um, with email marketing, by law, you have to add a physical address at the bottom of every email. So you can either use your own address, your company address, or the thing that's very cool with ConvertKit is that they allow you to, to use their address. So if you click on the learn more button here, you can read that they make it available to you so that you can use their address here. So that's what we're gonna use because it's very easy, very simple. So I'm just gonna copy their address um, by going command C and then going back paste that in here and then copy this one as well, paste it in here, then the state as well and also the zip code. Just copy everything, put it in there, country is USA and that's already it. Make sure you actually go to the bottom here and click on save settings so that everything is saved.